So in this video, I want to talk about conversion tracking. So this is super important in LinkedIn because I hear way too often, you know, LinkedIn ads is too expensive. Well, compared to what? Compared to cost per click, cost per lead. And I would agree with those, but I would usually push it further and say, what's the show up rate of those leads to actually a booked call and the close rate of those booked calls to conversions, to purchases. And almost always 95% of the time, probably 97, 98% of the time, it's, uh, I don't know, we don't have that data. Uh, so I, what I would say is if you're any kind of company running LinkedIn ads, get conversion tracking as deep down the funnel as you can. So here's, and here's what I mean. So I can actually see on my funnel more than actually, I don't even have leads. We don't run lead gen forms other than for our newsletter. And we don't have a lead gen form on our website. It goes book a call and then purchase, um, basically. And we track those and we put values on them. And so then we can not just track by the booked call or the, the purchases as, you know, conversion equals one, the conversions are weighted. So I can then make better decisions on what is more important. So I can actually see, um, you know, this was just a call booking assist. So this wasn't the, and I only give it a $10 value. It wasn't the ad that they saw or clicked right before they booked the call, but it was part of the journey. These are actual booked calls. This ad was the last one they saw or clicked that drove them to book the call. And then the same with, you know, purchases. These are assists uh, and these are, you know, we track by what level of purchase. So how, how the heck do you do that? Um, so let's look at that real quick. So if you go into, oh gosh, it's going to, I'm messing up already here. So if you go into, because they changed the setup, if you go into conversion tracking, you can set up your conversions. And almost always, like the way people usually do it is it's by button uh, button pixel so they can tell when someone clicked a button um, when they submitted a form or you submit a form on someone's website and they redirect you, a URL redirect to a thank you page. And then that thank you page is set as a goalpost. So we know anyone who hits that thank you page, we can count as a conversion. So we do that same concept where we... Um, where we say if they hit the URL that has booked call in it, then count that as a conversion. So how the heck do you set up a booked call conversion or how do you send your booked calls to that URL in order to have a conversion? Well, almost any call booking um, software has this ability. So I'll show you in ours, uh, our LinkedIn ads. You can go in, you, when you set up the event, uh, and I'll do Calendly because that's a, an easy example and that's what we use you can set up a confirmation page. So by default, it just shows them a Calendly page that says, you know, thank you, your 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 uh, call booking is confirmed. But we set up a redirect to ex an external site and we send it to our website page that we set up specifically for that. So the same way you'd set up a thank you page for your form submissions, just duplicate, set up a, a, a super simple page that has a URL that you can track for conversions. And then when they confirm their call booking, they're forwarded to that page and you'll be able to track that conversion. And then we actually do it a step further where we do the exact same thing for, um, for confirmation of a purchase where we use sales pages, we use paykickstart.com. So when someone goes to our website, they go to purchase, they are presented with the sales page, they put their information in, and then it redirects them to a purchase confirmed page that thanks them for the purchase and gives them the next steps. And it more importantly, gives us a URL that we can track and helps us optimize our campaigns better.